massive body is pushing down mid. Naf has no idea just yet. Now he hears the footsteps. He can't get around the corner in time. He's taking a lot of damage. Another flashbang is going to come out. He peeks with it. He's going to go down. That's the only option he really had. Plant coming in. Liquid knows the B-bomb set is clear when that much pressure comes from mid. And now we've got a post plant. Oh, they come through the smoke. Not quite yet. The post plant is in. And here comes the retake from Banana. Indeed, Elise trying to spot it out. Does a nice headshot in. That's going to let OC come back into the site. He picks two. Elise got S tag in the meantime. And all, f I say all four, five, obviously one died, but all four of the players that got to B stayed alive for Liquid despite being surrounded. So good. Spotted when they're pushing down mid. I'm assuming they thought there'd be at least three, but the, the call to just jump through all those smokes as a team, as a unit, and just break through that part of the retake coming in, that just annihilates any plan that NIP really had before they can even get it going. And then you obviously just get a turn, and it's almost like you're playing defense. One to nothing. <laughs> buy from Team Liquid. Or, excuse me, buy from NIP. Obviously a buy from Team Liquid. MP9 on Hampus. Liquid crawling up banana with four. It's shocks to lurk. Over towards the A-Halls for the moment. Mac 10 in hand for him. Plopsky spots Nitro on the gap. And he's gonna keep walking forward until he spots someone. Smoke comes out, but Nitro's already beat it. However, he's got no backup. That's gonna make him feel a little bit nervous. OC steps through for support. Plopsky smoked off. Stalemate in the round. Both teams gonna call it off entirely as Plopsky gets away. Plopsky gone, but... Another situation, the second of this series where 10 players might stay alive. Well, different this time, because hold your breath, let's not jinx it. There might be zero damage dealt in this round. Whoa. Yeah, how's that for blowing your mind? It didn't blow anything on my body or mind, because there was no damage. Okay. Well, thought I had you. Try harder. Maybe I'm just playing hard to get. Listen, we'll save it all for the Jaguar videos into it two zero somebody call the bar get us a bottle of wine <laughs> bottle of wine and nature documentaries that's a date night ah oh, the damage was ruined by the bomb jason come does on does that count come on nitro and naf does that count yeah it counts oh well too bad But the, everyone's ADR was, well, I know it's one round, so it's not average damage, but everyone's damage was zero still. Yes. So. True. Yeah, if you phrase it like that, it works. Yeah. Well, NIP get a rinse and repeat. Three smokes, flashbang, the aforementioned weaponry. This time they stack towards the B-bomb site again. Check for bags by Nitro. He just throws the Molotov. We'd snap to that late. Okay, Hampus, top middle. At least gets the shot as he has the AK for the range. This stack is punishing, though, if an AK goes into it and gets lost. Nitro wants to be the one to take the charge. Orange is two. Checks it. Sees the anti-flask position. He's going to follow that up. He'll get Plopsky down as well, but a stag comes back through. OC able to get him inside of the smoke and stack or not. They're going to go down. Naf's going to burn Fuzi alive. Yeah, he wasn't getting away anyways. You had a liege rotating through CT spawn. He was ready to backstab and make sure that AK couldn't be held on to. Three to nothing for Team Liquid pretty quickly. Good opening kills from Nitro just marching into the B-bomb site. OC 4-0 at the moment to start early on. S-Tag and Fuzi with the only two kills that NIP have. And away we go into the gun rounds. Two MAC-10s on NAF and Shocks. The passive players with the aggressive weapons. Fuzi with that AWP is going to be towards middle. Off angle. Alige going to step into it. Spots the body, finds the kill. He takes a leg shot, but he's happy with that. He'll take it any day of the week. OC and Nitro together as NAF looks back behind as well with the MAC-10 Hampus. Still waiting it out, M4 in hand. Oh, it's off. Up and over. Campus, however, 
turns his attention behind them, knowing that there's a chance they can work out from the apartment. So the first A take we're going to see from Liquid. And they've got a split standard defense to go against. It's S-Tag that's at the arch. Smoke for him. Nice shot, OC. The smoke to force the hands and swiftly cut it off. Oh, look at the assertiveness from Team Liquid. First, OC takes the space that was left by Fuzi getting picked off, and then Nitro tries to take some space from OC's pick, but Plopski's rotated over. Now, even though he goes down without any kind of a real rebuttal, it's information gained, right? It's like Plopski's the B player. Let's just fall back and hit the B bomb site. and even if Plopski makes it back here in time, even if he turned and rotated immediately, likely just one guy. And NIP can't even fight for this round. Shocks. Again, going to try and just backstab, take a weapon or two away right at the end. Bomb has been planted. Shox is still a factor to farm up some cash. Although they have their attention on that, don't they? Look at Hampus just staring at the doorway. You ain't coming through there, brah. Or something like that. He's Swedish. I don't know if they say brah. I know Paula does, and he lives there. So does that count? I guess. Yeah. This isn't going to overextend on this. He's just hoping that when they try and move around or shuffle, that someone will give him a kill. At this point, I'm sure he's like sick of the MAC-10, right? He's like, all right, I'd love to get rid of this gun. So if someone could just please give me something. Ali shot his AK back in hand. He just walked right up mid and grabbed that bad boy. Shock's coming in right at the end, hoping to catch NIP snoozing. But you were right, Hampus. Watching the doorway, ready and waiting. No great loss for Team Liquid. Four to zero. This was the opening kill from Elige. The follow-up from OC was great. Found a perfect timing, and S-Tag gets lured into that peak. No op this time for NIP's defense. Fuzi's going to be on the M4. Full utility for all the defenders and three kits to work with. Yeah, three to work with. We'll see if... I mean, in order to defuse the bomb first, Liquid must plant it. Nitro. To try and clear out Banana. He's got two smokes to contend with. We saw how effective certain players. Simple comes to mind. The three HP, three kill round where he sneaks in between that smoke and gets yep. overlooked. So see if Nitro can be as fortunate. But it doesn't look like they're going to be as aggressive after that, just to note. So as they fall off, OC even confirms that with the AWP. But they obviously had a plan. They had like an emphasis towards Banana Control. NIP did with three players there and even being a little bit aggressive around that corner. Alij throwing some utility out mid, but he's alone with shocks. They're not going to press this. They're just kind of showing that they're taking mid. They want NIP to believe that there's more than zero players at brackets. Astag and Plopski get really deep into the bomb site at B. Plopski boosted up, ready to put out a Molotov with that smoke, tosses it out. Here comes the fight. Nitro is going to lead the way. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that is brutal. Excuse me. It's not for the Molotov. It's a cheeky little one way. And under the gap, he's got another one. I got another one beneath, but they wrap around him way too quick. Nitro gets the entry too fast for Plopski's position to be all that impactful. And Liquid have won another round that NIP can't even fight for. Can't even fight for it. Back it away. And Shocks will go hunting again. This time a little bit more at risk for Shocks as he does have an AK that he wouldn't want to give up free of charge, unlike the MAC-10. So he's a little bit passive and timid to try and clear the top side of middle. They're going to sneak through alt mid. And Elyse only getting there now is going to miss the opportunity for two kills, but may still find Fuzi jumping up, though. He's giving himself away. And I think he goes down right now. Fuzi's going to get the shot cleanly, and I don't know that Shox is able to get that far. He's not willing to wait around, though. Fuzi's going to peek him, Shox. Spraying in. Not worth it to re-peek if you're Fuzi in that situation. You've already done one gun. You want to keep the M4. That's the point of the save, so just backs off of it. Though. This is a good start. Five nothing T side. Yeah, and it, it hasn't even been like the usual, like just battering the economy. They're finding access to the. I mean, they've had a couple rounds over at the B bomb site that NIP loses, and they they can't even they can't even consider a retake. They've been really solid on the entries. Finally, NIP is going to get an opening kill. Fuzi finds OC down mid. So they'll go again toward the boiler position. Naf's going to flash banana. Estag will be on the receiving end of that, but it won't do any damage either way. It's more just an annoyance. And a counter flash as well, so Estag can re-clear and say, yep, nobody's done anything. Nobody's established control for Team Liquid. Nobody's home. 
Elise is certainly home inside of the boiler doorway, though. That's where Rez wants to watch and wait, Fuzi. AWP, he's got the further angle, which means he's got farther to retreat. The flash forced them both off of it, but Rez, the farmer and his carts will take them down as they try and work around toward the site. And Rez has even retreated back behind the broken wall. He's got coverage there. Shox does have a nade. Imagine he'd be a little bit scared to use that right now. Given there's so many players staring him down, does take res. Now he's going to try and use utility to his advantage by putting smokes and a wide side flash. Grabs the AWP, one HP. I guess he might as well. He's got to hit a perfect shot. He's got to be spectacular, and Hampus won't allow it. NIP get their first round in the game. Yeah, good composure as well. You can see there's no panic on the faces of NIP just yet. That's a nice hold. Double kill from res at the hay cart. Absolutely beautiful. Combined with the opening kill from Fuzi, makes things much, much easier. Right through the edge of the carts. Asian Nitro couldn't find it. Hampus to close out the round. Five to one. Four round lead for Team Liquid. They've got plenty of money though. Plenty of cash. Even after this buy, they're still flush. Triple defense. Top banana for NIP. Plopsky jumping, trying to find something. Nitro's brought low, so is Hampus. Nitro's gonna go down, surely. You'd imagine at some point, Shox is playing a real dangerous game. Oh, that nade. Bye-bye, Nitro. Wow, okay. I'm phenomenal at predicting grenades, Jason. Yeah, maybe just let them happen from now on, you know? Maybe just let them play out. <sighs> it's all right. You'll get the hang of it one day. You've been doing this for like six or seven years. Add another four or five years on top of that. I think you'll start to understand how the nades work. Dude, I'm not going to be around in four or five years. Let's be honest. <laughs> you don't have that kind of time. I, 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 <laughs> barely around the last two. Oh, Liege. Making sure nobody can cross into the bomb site, And out in the open is Fuzi. Alicia just kind of looked there and saw that it was clear when he comes back. Fuzi's in position. Hampus with the off, narrow gap. Tags OC to 15. Now the defense for NIP starting to look alive. Withstood the early pressure from Team Liquid in the first six rounds of this game. First five rounds of this game. Now they're starting to be able to actually challenge and hold on to map control and bomb sites. I think Liquid's going to back away and save this. 15 HP on OC, 16 on Nitro. Preserve the money you have in the bank. Live to fight another day. So conceding two rounds in a row, but saving onto their weaponry. This will give Liquid a chance to continue fighting forward for more rounds on the attacking side. After two maps of play, Rez is the only positive player on NIP. He's 56 and 42 across Ancient and Overpass, plus 14. NAF on Team Liquid is right up there with him. 52 and 39, plus 13. Elise as well is plus three, with 48 kills total in the series. Fuzi's breaking even. The NIP Opper, we saw an Ancient delivering some good rounds. Overpass still had some accurate shots, although not as much impact, and they'll need him here on Inferno as we're heading into round number eight. Straight back into it. AWP on either side, Fuzi. Let's see what OC can come up with. Rez is already going to put some utility down to the bottom side of the middle just to be annoying. Force them back down that stairwell a little bit further. And that is one of the angles that even still the flames can be quite thick and hard to see through. So OC's not even attempting to try and see top mid right now. He's just going to sit back and wait it out. Meanwhile, the secondary, or the second off, I should say, in the round, uh, Fuzi in the apartments, but he's Molotov that off. If he hadn't been patient, he may have actually gotten one heading his direction. He does have Rez over there to support him. Up on top of the balcony already. Fuzi's dropped all the way to the ground. He didn't go to the windowsill, so he's watching again that wide side middle. Flash out, same one that caught him off, but this time the difference went inside of the doorway, Elise as it was last time, to get him on that wide swing. Hampus through the smoke. Nitro crouched into it. Remember, no tracers on that A1S. He wouldn't have known that that's where the bullets were aimed. Any other gun, I highly suspect he does not continue walking into danger. Elise gets one back. Does he get chased? Backs off. Bomb still down to that mid wall will be spotted, and that means Elise has to go back for it. When he does, he confronts Plopsky, and with great success, it's a three on three. Great rebuttal from Elise in this round. Two kills to keep things even. That was almost about to slip away. Good play from Rez. Sees the smoke coming. Knows he's got a window of opportunity. And Liquid, Elise, and Naf have to hit this beat bomb, so they've got to do it right now. S tag ready and waiting at the off ankle. He's going to get smoked off. I'm surprised he goes for that. I know he wants to get forward to the smoke, but he can back it off and play the numbers game. He was playing in CT. 
under my impression, to, to be able to retreat and not get caught out because now a real chance for Liquid. Naf goes forward. Fuzzy's caught. And Lee's already aware that this is likely coming from CT. Rez is going to get by by a flash. So he's not confirmed, but the shots inside of Ruins will be heard now. And Lee's with the AWP positioned and ready will take him down. Yeah, you might be right. Those are the decisions I think Estag wishes he could maybe have back. He tries to peek before the smoke, assuming they're going to be streaming in as the smoke is pluming at Elyse with that op just holding the angle. But what a round from Elyse. That's a three on five. He pulls back single-handedly, steps forward into Hampus, is ready for the follow-up fight. The wherewithal to jiggle peek that after he'd already come from that position when it was cleared. Smart play from Elyse. And he gets quad kill in reward for the round. Six to two. Now you start to see frustration. It's always the third map where the visage starts to crack. Fuzi, the one we just saw frustrated on camera. It's going to continue. And the AWP blown away by Elyse. Big brain plays in these past two rounds. Yeah, John might be a little little body, but he's got that giant brain. No question about that. Plopsky's got Naf down. That's his big scalp to take as well. Naf's only had three kills, though. I say that. He's only had three kills in this particular map so far. Haven't needed him yet. No, they haven't. He's been so solid in the other two. Rez falls off the angle after doing significant damage onto Nitro. 33 left for him, Shocks. Yes, that's the one-on-one. -on -one. The engagements at the apartments, and I think that will subside. He's forcing a lot of utility out, Shocks, and he's forcing a lot of tension to remain on his location. Nitro and Elyse to slow walk across this smoke in arches. Library's blocked off as well. Nobody from NIP can peek with that flash. OC and Shock starting to pressure as well. Elyse. What's the timing on the smoke? Does he have it? As Tag backs away, that's gonna give Elyse the advantage. It's perfect. Rez stuck inside the site and he can do nothing. Shox finds that as well. Liquid have full access to the eight bomb site. Plopsky has a decision to make. He might be getting calls that a couple players are low, but a one versus three is very, very ambitious. And oddly enough, the big brain play from Elyse to blow the up back towards him at the start of the round is gonna allow Plopsky to find it with ease. Yeah, that's a bit unfortunate, but nonetheless, uh, well, they're gonna go check that position. Shock's down toward alt middle. It's still around for Liquid to go seven to two. Chicken's on a treadmill. Chicken's on a, tr is this some sort of weird fetish you watch online? No, I'm just saying he's just running in place. I see. That would be an interesting fetish though. I won't shame you for it. It's a safe zone here, Jason. He's cruising, man. He's fit AF. He's got something in store for this game because he's really taken over these past few rounds for Team Liquid to get them back on track after dropping two straight. OC. Dry challenge, it looks. s -tag's gonna win it. That's a hard fight to win. Follow up. Doesn't work. Double up setup for NIP. Shocks. Oh, he never saw the player beneath him. He never saw Hampus behind the hay cart. Here it comes. Running out. Shocks has found that kill. He does find it at the end of the day. S tag is tagged up and forced behind the corner, but it's a three on four. Rez has control of the bomb as well. And Nitro's got a chill. He's got to wait for Shocks and Naf to come back to give him some assistance. They've only got one flashbang to work with. And NIP's running away with this round. The double op setup has netted them two kills so far. One's taken away. Nitro knows Rez's position. He's got another. Puts Naf in a one versus two. Not the most difficult clutch Naf has won today. And he's almost on for another. Plopsky saves everything for the ninjas but that's a costly victory hugely costs i mean they're down on weapons again and liquid's gonna know that seven to three they'll be able to capitalize perhaps with a clever play they themselves on breaking point now though so this is a very significant turning point in the round and nip cannot fall into this rut again this was one of the main conversations of nip ct side on overpass with so many rounds they they won but survived with only one player surviving two players surviving they were always fighting with famas they were always fighting with limited nades now they're fighting with a famas and two smgs they have to be able to follow that win up with another one. They have to start being able to build up some cash. They cannot play this half at a deficit of three to seven with just a busted economy constantly. I don't think Nitro's aware of this. No, he's not aware at all. There's no chance he is. They would not be. All right, well, Nap's gonna spray it. That's gonna force the issue. Hampus actually fired back into it and it gives him away. He still gets one kill for it though. Nap goes down. 
So they took the chance, I think, at it, if anything. Plopski does do damage on to Nitro. A liege barely tickled by that, is able to go right back into him. No phase <laughs> for I think, him. I think he wanted to go forward. I think he was ready. He's got smoke in hand. He's ready to just take it and go. This isn't a bad call to go back this direction, though, because look at the push down to up middle. Fuzzy though. Ooh, the AWP. I don't think you detect or suspect that at all. They even shoulder checked, and Shocks gets removed. So it's the advantage back to NIP. Yeah, and Elise is too far away to really join up with OC at the moment. It's going to take a little bit of time, but the theory behind Team Liquid at the moment has got to be, okay, Fuzi was pushed down mid with the AWP. That means he's the only defender on this side of the map. They have to have two players holding onto that B bomb site. They're going to drop the smoke in all mid. They're going to make the run. Fuzi is still stuck up in halls. Are they aware of the possibility? OC considers it. Good shot from Fuzi. Good timing as they run into the site. One more smoke to block him off. Elige just thinking plant at the moment and see what comes after that. Taps it. Slides out. He's got one. Now it's nervous. Now it's nervousness to affect S attack and res. One versus two. Here's the flank. Timed perfectly. Bomb can't get planted, but it's almost there for Elige. He's looking dangerous. Seven to four, two players surviving, but the op is recovered. Op is recovered indeed, so at least they'll hold on to that. That's going to give them a massive chance. As we say, that was a pivotal point that round and a half because this will now give NIP not only the op recovered, but an AK to go in the hands of Rez, and it's Liquid finally limited to just the handguns. See, waiting it out as Naf was preemptive, even firing a few shots as he runs by. Banana, no pressure this time yet from NIP in terms of aggression. Knowing well that they've got the economic advantage. So Naf still checking it though. The smoke now gone. Elise has been loving the Tech 9 again lately, hasn't he? He's such a fast player, that high sensitivity. He's just going to run and gun up close every chance that he gets. Ampus though, he'll get a great chance to run and gun at those jumping toward top middle. Fuzi actually found two in that, so good sequence for him on the AWP as well. It's good that Liquid got up to seven this early in the game or pretty quickly in the game, because now that NIP actually survived with all five players, this half is going to get, these last three rounds are going to be much harder than Liquid's experience so far in this half, just because the money's all there for NIP's defense. They're going to be going up against a plethora of Molotovs, HE grenades, smokes everywhere. They've got plenty of money for an op on Fuzi if they need it. Previously playing with the benefit of an NIP that was backing out of bomb sites, trying to save and trying to preserve money. Now NIP has the resources to challenge more than they have been. If it's aggressive this time, they heard that. going to hear that. Absolutely. He's so close. So ready for it. Hampus looking far. Shock's very close. So the early advantage absolutely for Liquid. No one even taking damage yet. There's a minute 30 to work with. Plopsky's going to try and pull some of that lost manpower back by getting map control. And it's going to be a deep smoke massive gap in that, though. Plopsky doesn't go into the tree. He's got to be decisive on that as well, because if they're... Or if they have any idea, they could take that back pretty quickly also. Nitro certainly was ready for the flash to try and get Naf into position. Molotov instead. AWP, flash. Fuzi can't hit it. Did try the pre-fire. But his timing just slightly off. 52 seconds on the clock. Nitro Ooh. taken down blind. Pop flash lands perfectly. Fuzi still got it. Back to the A-bomb site we go. Nobody from NIP has budged from their position on this side of the map. And look at all the utility. S-Tag has a Molotov. Rez has a Molotov. Fuzi 
over towards the B bomb site is just chilling. There's so many things to slow down this hit. Confirmed. Fuzi's already pushing down Banana as well. He's not going to let them come back to that site. He's going to lock him in with the AWP. Rez, good shot from the pit. That's the AK carried over we talked about. And he gets all three as he looks up toward the balcony. He'll finish it off with a fourth as well. And it's Naft that goes down 7-6. to six. NIP pulling this back. Yeah, that Molotov makes the fight for those players trying to wrap so awkward. They have to hug close to the wall. It's not clean. And in order to get both of them swinging wide to make it effective, they're also, you know, just really restricted in the amount of space they had to work with. Opening kill found by Team Liquid evened up here with that kill on a Nitro, and then it's all res. Mowing him down from long range. Shocks couldn't find his way out of the smoke quick enough, and Naf falls last. Seven to six. Who's he unable to land the first shot? Down middle, he'll back off of it. Osi's gonna run it down. Try and take ground away as they scurry for repositioning. He can't hit the shots though. He's certainly getting aggressive shocks. Oh dear. Nearly gets through the doorway, but now standing on uh, the reds, excuse me, standing on the ledge is able to catch him out inside of the smoke, and he follows up with another great shot over to Naf. 7-7, seven, seven, just like that. A leash for Team Liquid started this half out excellent. It feels like Rez for NIP is starting to pick up the pace, and he's looking to close it out. The quad kill in the previous thing, just a triple kill in that round. Starting to look good. We're all so both ops going toward A early. Fuzi, he went the long way around the brackets to get a mid-pick. Not confident to try and check the stairs, though. And Nitro's gonna battle Banana. It's interesting that they went for the double op, but they didn't put anyone in that position with one, so... Peculiar call, and Hampus has rotated back over now. He put some utility down in the reserve spot outside of Ruins, but now he's actually going to get involved in the fight. Plopsky already getting Nitro. He's getting sprayed through the barrels. He needs to be careful as a liege. We'll get the better of the exchange. Flash as well. Could this be a full check? Aztec's got to be careful not to swing too soon on that AWP, but Elyse at barrels looks down to try and go anti-flash and puts Hampus on 2 HP, but loses his life for it and immediately extinguished Molotov. That was well played by Hampus. Oh, surely he just gets mowed down. Yeah, out of the smoke. You could see his teammate even abandoned him. He was like, well, good luck. And that's the right play. That's the smart play to make. Let your teammate go down. Don't try and overextend trying to save his life. Team Liquid. Three on three. They've got three smokes and a Molotov to work with, but there's a timer on everything because Rez is starting to clear out the other side of the map. Fuzi is going to be hustling as fast as he can to get over here. Double op setup, though, and S-Tag once again actually commits himself inside the bombsite in front of the smokes. The Molotov that was there to help and protect gets extinguished. Back inside for barrels. Want to go over top S-Tag, though. He's still hidden back here. Still like, oh, good nade. They still haven't fully cleared the site. He's got the LVP for one. Wants to swing it. They won't go together, but they will get the kill. Not until Fuzi arrives. It's the Deagle instead for him. And Shocks with 11 seconds. Oh, my God. The ball's on this man. Using the fountain to perfection, but Fuzi gets the angle while he puts the... Have to dictate who it's going to be. Who's moving forward? Who's going home in tears? Hampus at the base of Banana. It's Naf and OC to challenge at Sandbags. Nitro's got support. Flash at Coffins ready and waiting. Elysian Shocks on wrap side mid. And then IP is going to be cautious about it. Only Hampus dedicates himself to Banana. If he's the only one to turn this corner initially, they can avoid the trap, but he's waiting for his teammates. So here we go. They're going to trip the trap or spring the trap, I should say. Fuzi has a flash. Not going to use it. They're just going to get a straight kill. Naf's locked in at the bags. They took OC first. So Naf was locked, pinched, and cut off. Nitro trying to fire back through the smoke has to fall off the coffin's position and wait for rotations. They will get one. That shocks through the smoke. Catching out Rez inside of it. Now boost Elise. Uh, they he was spotted and they failed to jump. Yeah, they made the sound. But Nitro's found the equalizer. Three on three. We're right back in this. Miraculously, Liquid have a chance. On um, planted. Nitro's going to push forward. No kits in play, so they've got to be reasonably quick and decisive about getting back inside. They've got one already. Nitro follows that up. They've lost a leash. That's the CT player as well. So they know both are coming from ruins, and with the smoke still down, they'll fade inside of it. That's going to buy some space, some time. Shocks. Oh, he's hit Plopsky. He's going to tap that as well. They don't know if he has a kit or not. They have to consider checking this. Fuzi's trying to buy space, and he does. He gets Shocks in the head with 7 HP, and that's the round. No chance for Shocks. And it will now be 9 to 7 in favor of NIP. They'll even pour salt in Shocks' wounds.
That got spicy, though. For having a five-on-three entering into the bomb site, obviously it helps when Shox is able to just get a nice lucky headshot through the smoke, just spamming away. Nitro adding one more towards Coffins made that very doable. It looked for a moment like Liquid was going to be able to turn it, but this is well done from NIP. First, oh yeah, that's that's about you know as lucky as you're going to get. Looked for a moment like Liquid was going to turn that round and steal it right back, but just running out of time on that bomb, no kit available, and Shox... Didn't truly have a chance in it. NIP take the victory in the pistol round of the second half. Liquid won the pistol round and rattled off the first five rounds in the first half. We'll see how NIP, how well they can take advantage of economic superiority. So the only weapon being the MP9 for shocks. The rest on pistols, res. Waiting with Plopsky at middle with Boozy as well, also in the door. They're pretty much fully committing on this A side of the map. Not even gonna look toward Nap or Nitro at B. Hampus wants to go in a lead. Not efficient, but oh. the two. First shot worked out very well. Now Shocks can strike with the MP9. Plopsky swings back around, though, and cleans up the rest. 29 HP, though, just 29 HP. And the rotations are on. That setup worked absolutely perfectly. Oh, we need to see if anyone actually got fooled by Elijah's smoke. He tossed it out towards the half wall. Plopsky swings out. It's just one shot from Naf as the smoke plumes. Double kill in the round from Elijah with that deagle as they drop down. Shock's protecting from behind. All he's watching is for the drop down balcony, and they're just hoping and praying that NAP's going to chase after a player at half wall because of this smoke. And indeed, actually, that didn't do anything. They didn't even check it whatsoever. It's just clean victory from Alige, pouncing from behind Haycart. NIP gets shocked in round number two. The worst possible scenario, having, having come back and taken the lead at halftime by one and then winning the pistol. A chance to get comfortable, dig in, and make this very awkward for Liquid. But now, Liquid, CT side, they did the... Dirty work early in the first half, Jason, and they can capitalize big time right now if they can win this. And especially with that AK in the hands of Rez, they've invested into that. They'll hold the money at bay for Nip. Potentially take a lead at the end of this sequence. That AK, though, Rez, that's a lovely shot to get on OC. Elise is aware that it's heading his direction, though. He's going to go back out. Ooh, that's a desperate play. He goes on his own with the flash. Yeah, I thought that flash was going to be way, way more impactful. Shocks has nothing to do. Rez finding all three kills. Star players from both these teams just going head-to-head. -head. It, it feels to a certain extent like Rez versus Elise in terms of impact that they're both having. Elise is 16 and 12. Next closest on his team is Nitro and Shocks with eight. Rez has some teammates up there with him, but Rez certainly has had some of the most incredibly impactful rounds that we've seen out of NIP. They bring it right back. One AK-47 and pistols bought up around it is going to give NIP their 10th. They're the first to strike double digits, and they've got a two-round lead. That's an incredible way to do it as well. The single AK, and it gets all three of the openers. Beautiful stuff from Rez. I'm afraid that's the wrong objective, Nitro. Kill the players, not the chickens. Bomb will go off in NIP, you're right. Double digits first, they'll go 10 to 8, Liquid. Only saving a Galil and an MP9. They lost all of their primary rifles in that situation, and the sequence that's now turned it back, NIP. Having just concluded that I, I you know, I said they brought it back and they lost it, and Liquid could take the lead. Well, now it's forget everything, forget all of that. So early smoke toward mid. Allow them to get some deep utility. It allows Elise to cross. Plopsky's close to it, though. He may have heard Elise actually running over it. Either way, it's going to be banana right now that the NIP players look to take. But I see it too, Jason. I think yep. we're going to have a reset on the round. A PC has crashed again. So no damage was done. There's really no argument to be had. This will just go into a tech pause. They'll reset it. We'll go 10-8 and start. Shout out to the admins for their quick work. 10 to 8, Team Liquid. They have an M4 on NAF. They've got a Galil on a Liege. MP9s on OC and Nitro. Deagle on Shocks to challenge up against the full rifle. Full rifle NIP offense. 
quick clear top banana. They've got the smoke down. Molotov already at the connector. And they've naded behind the bags. They'll confirm that with crosshair placement of Hampus as they swing around the corner as well. Now it's going to resmoke that position as they continue to stack inside of the site. At least to play the quick rotation, but he ain't going to be rotating far. He's about to get busy. Slight annoyance with that smoke for NIP. They'll just sit and wait it out. They can afford to do so. A minute to play. This is aggressive from Elige. Hashtag still in the apartments, just to note. Yeah, and Elige is pushing into it. He's going to be wrapping behind them. So Elige, uh, he knows they're at a disadvantage this round. He needs to find them an advantage, and he's going to get them information. He's going to get them at least one kill. Just take it. Don't play games. There it is. Easy frag from behind. That's going to send the signal for NIP to hustle into the B bomb site. However, there's three players here. OC at first oranges. Nitro at second oranges. Naf at coffins. This can be so deadly. First kill is OCs. There's Naf chiming in. Headshot onto Plopski, and they still haven't discovered the third player. Eight kill. Naf got nailed through the edge of the coffin. That's going to put him so low. He jumps somehow, matrixing the bullets as he gets back toward ruins, but Hampus' position. Shox is dead. No chance. No one checks tree anymore. Not at all. Naf does turn around to get the trade back and Fousey's on 3 HP but the bomb planted if he can find Naf fast enough oh, for the chance he lines it up no he got a leash first instead and it's NIP to find 12 that's unbelievable he oh, he can't believe it he can't believe it with 3 HP never in his brain did he think he was going to win that round high HP player first Naf can't react fast enough in time oh that's heartbreaking for team liquid this as well Nitro had the chance how close has some of these rounds been in this series? Even the 1v3 back on Ancient, that might have meant we were done in two maps because that was a break point in series swinger. Yeah, and the 1v3 clutch from NAF as well on Overpass that allowed them to take that map in regulation. Some incredible clutches in this series so far, but in the third map, that one's going to hurt. That one's going to stink so much. So Liquid, back to pistols. Plop will drop a liege. Hampus already around the corner, rather ambitiously. Yeah, I'd get away from that one as he gets dinked up by the USP. And nades do significant damage to Nitro. I think he took one bullet as well, but goes down to 10. Lucky he's be alive in that situation. Well, you have a round like that, that if your Team Liquid that you've dropped, and you go back to them winning the second round and losing the third round to an AK and just pistols, they've had some chances to grab control of this match early on in this half, and God, it's just all, it's all gone the other direction. They're gonna check this immediately. Shocks gets put up, but it's not gonna be long before he's put down. Fuzzy on the kill as soon as he comes around the corner. Fuzzy's gonna check every other angle. Naf's still trying to do damage. He's out of bullets. Oh, the reload. He had a kill on a platter, but I think the round is already secured. For NIP is they'll plant the bomb. Nitro down. Fuzzy with that kill. He's looked sharp lately, Fuzzy. Four on deficit, and uh, Liquid's going to be looking at a buy next round with around 4,400 on most players. I don't think they're going to be able to have an op on OC yet, which is really painful. A lot of conversation around him after the series he had yesterday against Heroic and his prowess with the AWP. This is a good job from NIP, keeping that weapon out of his hands as much as possible for as long as possible in this second half. I was about to call out S-Tag for only having five kills in this game, but there's only one player above double digits on Liquid. It's Elise at 17. Yeah. Nobody else is really contributing. They're going to have to change that. No, it's going to have to happen right now. Certainly on that T side, eh? and there are some players obviously getting a few kills here and there, but it was Elise with most of the impact, the main thrust of Team Liquid. He was so good. He's had a great series. I mean, multiple players from Liquid have had great series at least coming into this third map of Inferno, but certainly gone a bit quiet. That has to change right now in round 21. M4s in hand, utility in hand, FAMAS on Nitro, no kits for the Team Liquid side. Smoke down, but Rez is gonna combat that. One of his own, that'll actually go into a Molotov. Oh, tossed across. Towards the underpass pit. So that means they want to try and move that potentially up toward the top of middle, toward A. Elise just getting into position at the arch now. OC, front library. And shocks the anchor. Nitro still at this tree position though, and Naf's going to try and make that call and bait him into it. 
spread across, but it will prevent Nitro from being able to swing. And for now, they'll ignore it. Does Nitro have the courage to push forward? How does he want to play this at the base of Banana? Set up for a fast flank, set up to ruin a tactic if they ever get the read or the feel. Nothing yet. Naf is still dedicated to Banana as well, trying to pull attention away from Nitro's position, which means this defense over at A is just standard. It's just default. It's sparse. And now it's just down to two. Now it's just down to one. OC in the bomb site. What have you got? Rez doesn't clear it. They're going to trade him, surely. Plopsky's got that. And remember, no kits. I don't think, I don't know if Naf and Nitro can even challenge for this. Think, I don't think you can. I, I don't know how you possibly justify it. You look for a kill here. You hope and pray that Naf is going to give you one. And with that, now you start having the conversation. Nitro's still considering it. Naf's not gone. He's at the arch. He's just changed his angle of approach. If a kid kill comes in, yeah, no, time's gone. They know it. They know there's no chance they find three in that sequence. And without a pit, they have to give it up. Or without a, a kit, excuse me, they have to give it up. That's pretty ridiculous that uh, 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 Elise puts himself in another one-and-done position, but Rez is just single-handedly pushing them across the line right now. Look at this shot. Now he's still moving as well. Also, it's to be said... OC was the only one with head armor in that round, so that Galil might as well be an AK-47, drop shocks. Can't blame him as well, dropping down to that just due to the scuffed money, just wanted some extra nades, maybe maybe an extra flashbang. Maybe that was the difference of the smoke, but gets punished there. Yeah, that's... I mean, poor shocks. <laughs> you don't expect to get hit by that shot. 13-8, to eight. Liquid's gone flat. We said that they did well to get seven rounds. They eco victory in round two as well. Thought maybe that was going to yeah. give them enough, and then they can't get anything else going. And this is the only call they really have. A small investment. You have the full losing bonus moving forward. Liquid's going to take a timeout after this round. OC will have the AWP in his hands for the first time in the second half, and that has to be an immediate return on investment. It has to be right out of the gate. That AWP has to sing. It has to dominate. It has to slow NIP down. Rez takes out Nitro. Naf got one before that, though. Double pressure inside of the apartments. Pistol only up close, but Elige far back with the scout. That's a deadly one-two punch if they dare try and walk into it. They came desperately close, but then S-Tag, for whatever feeling, for whatever reason, gets pulled off, and he's going to go back and get the bomb. So obviously they made the decision to go B on this. Timing of Naf's smoke is important. He's putting it out just now. They could step in front of it. Looks like they considered that, but back off. That smoke is buying time. You can see the movement on the minimap. They are going to come through. They just wait. They adjust. Naf couldn't find anything. Oh, a dink from OC. And Naf is able to double up with the help of his teammates, with a little help from his friends. OC and Nitro give him two. Still don't have any other rifles to pick up, though. That's the only one that was in the round for the CT side. Waiting for shocks to get in position. No reason not to go for this if you're liquid. You've got to buy in the next round. You need them on the board as oh, smoke to cover ruins is going to be a problem. It might ruin OC. Does he have the balls to go through this? I think he might. I think he thinks that they have safety in that smoke. He might now because fuzi has gone. s -tag, the only one left. OC comes out. He gets caught. A swing and a turn. And now he can fade inside of that smoke. An AK picked up, but Elige will not have the time to do it. As he swings out, he'll get the kill. But there is no kid. He's got to run from the site. They'll get all five down, but no closer to getting this scoreline back on level footing. I feel like we've seen that. This is a oh, number. He's lost the AK as well. Yeah, he couldn't get away. He knew it as well. He just he just decides to uh, the honorable way to go out, I guess. Uh, yeah, we said that a number of times. Exactly what Liquid designed. A picture perfect. Fuzzy. Pass the smoke and out toward middle already. Quick pre-fire shot to where the AWP often tries to pick from. Elise aggressive again. Oh, he's done. He's caught. There's no way he gets away from this. He's been. Certainly getting aggressive, Elise, perhaps feeling some pressure that he has to put things in his own hands given the scoreline within his teammates, but another time that he gets caught out. That's the aggression from NIP that nuts him the kill, not the aggression from Elise. That's an odd timing that he just didn't expect. What a small change of pace that has great impact. Hampus on one side of the wall, Shocks on the other. Shocks was outside of the fencing. Ready to drop off. Gets close instead. Hampus fires in. So now they confirm each other's positions. But Nitro toward top middle. Wins the wall. Mm, not quite against Plopsky, though. Who nails a great shot in return. What's the reaction from NIP? That's one of the B defenders that they've just taken down. They've spotted Nitro over at A. Do they call it off? 
Shox is pushing up. This is a desperate push. With everyone around the corner, he's certainly going to be traded. Can't even get the first. So it's just clean. Nath again to try and clean it up. He's got the bomb down temporarily. Knows they've got to repush that position, but he's out of ammunition. As he goes down, it comes to a one on one. Plopski on only 29 HP and OC to save any hope that Liquid have as the bomb will be planted. Has to rotate over, and a smoke in front of the library will prohibit him from seeing directly in on the op. And he's going to close the distance as well. Gap in it. Osi's hoping that'll give him some information. It won't, and he won't have any idea if he's gone back down the lane or if he's burrowed deeper inside of the site. He will consider checking it, and he nails the shot. The quick scope on the AWP, and Liquid will get a ninth. What a crazy amount of pressure to put on his shoulders, rotating over as that smoke clears. Good find, and as you mentioned, not able to scope in because then you give away the game. Great clutch. OC keeps Team Liquid alive. Nine rounds for Team Liquid on defense. Uh, he OC wins the clutch, but Naf, this is magnificent. It's not flashy. It won't make it into too many highlight reels, but a triple kill all alone to even allow OC a chance at the clutch. Well, they'll get away with one Liquid and they'll take it. Chance to break NIP's economy right now and get to double digits themselves as OC aggressively out toward the top of Banana this time. Elise again this time backing off early. No one pushing through, as you say, the NIP aggression last round. OC staring still, though, is forced back towards CT. Missed the first shot. They tried to get the re-aggression out from Nitro. There's three on this side of the map. They haven't confirmed that. And OC's aware that if he's given up the position of the AWP on B with yeah. two players there, he's going back over to Ward A. And NIP more than aware that if they hear the all bring out at the B bomb site, they can have some confidence that they can take Brackets control now headed towards Ra Oh no, oh no, OC gets pulled out of library. Now you got all the pressure on the veterans. Shocks and Elise inside of the pit and graveyard. They've got everything to do. Covering off the CT rotations as well. Elise needs to be absolutely perfect. He's more passive in his position this time. Good find from Shocks. And he won't overcommit to that position even though he knows there's more in CT. That's enough. One and a free escape. And potential to get aggressive pushing up the other side of the site now as well. But he'll hold. Showing some discipline. And Elise is the one that takes the long fight instead. Long range, that's bomb. Long range engagement. He'll have confirmed that bomb is down. They know now they have to commit to this side. Misstep from Shocks and Rez catches him out. They spot out where Elise is gone and S-Tag drops in. It's Nitro and Naf, the two B players, and they're both rotating through middle. No kit on either, just to be, no be clear yeah. of that either. Yeah, I don't know how you do this if you're Team Liquid. It's gotta be quick. Molotov is going to delay things a little bit longer. There is a flashbang on Rez inside of the bomb site, but don't need to use it. Look at all the crossfires they have set up. I don't know if Naf and Nitro might just want to pick up this AWP, but they're going to at least investigate, see if they can be given a gift. There's the kit in front of Naf as he wraps around towards Small Pit. Baby. Now it's on. Now he can move forward, but he actually steps past the kit anyways. It won't matter. Nitro gets one, and it's 15-9. to nine. NIP have six chances to make it into the semifinals and send Team Liquid home. He's overstepped a tiny bit, and he's punished for it. Smoke down deep. Elise wanted to... Oh, no. Oh, they wanted to try and get aggressive on that, and he's caught out by spam this time. They'll go and get his weapon. Boozy can do nothing about that this time, at least with the shots that go in toward the mid position. NIP's going to love that. Oh, huge advantage. And the yeah. entire round to play with? Don't even have to work for the, for the opening kill. And it's on Elise, of all people. Naf has started to step up. 16 kills for him. Hampus up over the top. It's Naf to find another one. That's him on 17. Still four on four. Three SMGs to play with. No kits again for Team Liquid. And the defense is split two and two, but OC and Shocks, instead of sitting back in the bomb site and playing that situation, they're just going to say, we're going to win or lose this round on our defense in middle. Shocks with the flash, the swing, didn't commit to the fire, but gets the information that they are there. The guns were thrown away in Banana, the solo gun that Hampus lost, just to note, went over the wall. S-Tag, he'll clear pit. A Molotov thrown in that direction. 
And it's Shox getting close again, but OC is the one inside of the site. Shox is pushed all the way in. He's taking the initiative. He can't do anything. Hardly any damage, but OC's M4. It'll distract and pull aggro in his direction. That allows Nitro to at least get one more. And OC still alive in this situation somehow with 19 HP. And he needs to evade the Molotov. It bounces far enough in two ticks. Enough to take him down. It's Naf MP9 versus Plopsky on the AK for the game. And he's going back toward the A site. Has the bomb and 15 seconds. Not a ton of time, but enough to at least set up security as he puts a smoke down. Bomb to be planted. Naf's going to try and sneak you behind this smoke, though, silently. And I'm not sure Plopsky swings wide enough to check it, but does he get detected? He may already be outside of the range of Naf's vision. Who doesn't know where he's gone, but he certainly is sure it's not outside of the site. Spray into that body as much as he dare. They'll at least get double digits on the liquid side. I'm not going to lie. I, I hate that smoke. I hate that smoke. It denies all information. It allows Naf a lot of space to work with, to walk around that bomb site with safety. And obviously, just missing the timing. There's no way Plopsky's ever going to see Naf with that smoke in place. So, curious decision. Didn't give him the designed result, quite obviously. Good round from OC to recover. Good round from him and Shox all together. I don't think Shox got a kill. OC gets the double kill on the bomb site, but the pop flash peek down mid did everything to let Team Liquid know what was coming. Liquid just need five more. Another clutch for Naf. Timeout taken. Five more of those for Liquid to force overtime. Nitro. Or B. He's going to actually try and take Banana. He's forward to the barrels. Naf supporting him because they're all at the top of A right now. There's nothing to go against them. Shocks with the crossfire. Using the pillar for protection. OC will double up. In fact, make it nearly a triple. Yes, it will. He's going to get Fuzi as Elise chimed in with one. So the stack toward the front side of middle pays off. It's just a tag. And they know exactly where he is, having already taken down Elise with a tech nine. Switching to an AK. OC won't let him go any further. All right. NIP, try and switch it up with those tech nines, a set piece, a timing hit, a full execute from team mid, and it gets obliterated. Struggling now to find the final round that would take them into the semifinals. Two in a row for Team Liquid, three of the last four. There have been some huge clutches to keep them in this game. Lee just tried to get creative a couple times in mid on this CT side. Ooh, Hampus is dead. Nothing you can do there. Elijah has been trying to get a little creative with a few different plays in mid. He's gotten caught. This time, not so much. He's gotten caught twice or so. Gaff. Oh, no, 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 no. Is there a... Okay, there's no gap. I thought there was a gap on the right side of that. That's a bold play to make at 11 to 15, although you know you're going up against Pistol, so maybe not as bold. Knew he had Nitro as we're saying as well. Yeah, there's that as well. It's the trade, and Nitro's actually going to get it through the smoke as Tag goes down. Uh, basically, that was that was the exist timeout from NIP. <laughs> yeah, why not? Some old school stuff. Talk things over. Blinded, naded, burned. <laughs> he stood up, but he didn't take any steps. He was like, I'm not getting out of this. No, nope. he's like, I'm dead. He knows the spam is coming in as well. Which way you want to go? Three more rounds for Team Liquid, and they can force overtime. Three more chances for NIP. They had six total. Walt made. OC's going to have to be so careful. Whew, gets out of it. Nearly got caught out by a crossfire because they had people inside of the stairs starting to look that way. But it does mean NIP has positioned themselves very well right now. And Plopsky will get up and over the rail. Ampus even trying to spray through. That goes toward the atrium, that secondary spray at the window. OC again. We saw Fuzi playing that position in the first half get caught out this exact angle because if a player comes out from boiler, it's further to fall, and it's usually on the back of a flashbang, but this time it's the smoke down, so OC repositions. Shocks shifts, shifts towards the B bomb site. As OC has control of middle, him and Elyse have information. Nate is out from lane. This defense set up is decently strong, but paper thin if someone's to go down. Now they're hustling to get into new positions. The execute's about to begin. 
Did that smoke make it all the way up? It did indeed. Hampus is blocked off for the moment. Shocks ever the expert of reading these situations with his experience doesn't buy the spam from Rez. He's already rotating. He wants to get back over to the A side because he knows and it's more convincing the ground that they're taking with the utility on that side of the map. It's likely for a reason. Only one flashbang for an IP though. That's going to be so hard to blind all these positions to give themselves a decent fight. Shocks at Cubby, not detected as of yet. Doesn't want to go. Oh, see, caught though. Good shot from Hampus. That's going to put more pressure on Elise. And Rez, he's sneaking around it. Elise gone down. He finds Shocks. They went past each other inside of the smoke, and Rez was ready. Bomb to be planted. This could be it. Seven seconds. It will still be put on the deck. And once again, it's your B players, Naf and Nitro. And Rez is so far forward inside of the library. He's going to absolutely catch off. Now for the lovely shot in the head, it's 23rd in this game, and Nitro, he's got to go back to find him, let alone four others, three others, excuse me, in the site, and he spotted out.